everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome back to Nancy Drew, Tomb of the Lost Queen. So we just got done sorting our amulets for Lily. Hi, Nancy! Um... Yeah, I don't wanna... Bye. ...send her out there. Later! And yeah, we found out that we have a cut thing. Kinda wanna call Dylan and see what's up with him, but we also haven't checked out Jamila's bag. Um. Yes? I'd better get going. See you later. We need to find the key for his trunk. Um. No, but we also need to look at Jamila's Nancy, hi. bag. Everyone here seems to be hiding something. Like your boy Dylan. Why do you think he was here? This is an exciting sight. Who wouldn't want to be here? Please. The same could be said of anywhere. Dylan has been lying to you. I'm usually pretty good at knowing when someone is telling the truth. I thought the same thing, but I was wrong too. Dylan knew that Abdullah was an active member of the Antiquities Black Market. He wanted in. That doesn't make sense. It does. The reason you couldn't tell he was lying is because he just wasn't telling you the whole truth. He did come here to become a more competitive tour guide, just not in the obvious way. If he could provide tourists with one-of-a-kind antiquities, his business would triple overnight. So that describes the little note, or explains the little note we saw. I never really believed him. I did. Never trust the cute ones. They know what they can get away with. <clears throat> Are you being best right now? <laughs> just getting myself cozy. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye. So that wasn't much help. So I still don't know how I would figure this out. Like... Is there anything else in here? It looks like something is missing. Oh, we have one of these. Ah. There must be something around here to explain this. Um, colored snakes. <laughs> okay. Something around here. Yeah, those are being cursed. Maybe you have to solve this first. And then that'll give you some kind of answer. Oh, no. Now I'm just kind of bouncing around. Okay, so this is the I bet I could translate that. Now we're I'm heading into the cat area. And we are still missing one bird tile. Um, kind of at a loss. This must be the bird mural that was mentioned in the journal. Eight birds amongst a golden flock reveal the hidden way. Eight birds amongst a hunting scene reveal the hidden order. So this scene shows us like which one soars on colored wings and then that one. In our cat tomb, that's gonna be the order that we press eight of them. It's like colored wings, that's the... Standing in the boat and then waiting in the water. So, for that one, we need to have all of our bird tiles first. Yes. Bye. Goodbye. I feel like we need to 
open one of their trunks to really get anywhere. Let's see if he has anything new for us. Hello? Lily wanted to say hello. Oh, good. Tell her I say I, I don't know. I'm knackered. Make it sound good. What have you been up to? Lily had me help her with some amulets she couldn't identify. <laughs> Apparently, I'm pretty good at it. What do you mean, she couldn't identify? They were pretty beat up. She said that that type of thing wasn't her forte anyway, so I helped. Well, that's not true. Huh? Well, that's her specialty. She lied to you. Why would she do that? Maybe she wanted to distract you. Maybe she was feeling lazy. Why should I trust you? I don't exactly have a lot to gain from lying to you at this point. Weird. All right, if you want me to believe you, tell me why you were at the site. I really am a guide. That can't be it. It is. Look, maybe I wanted to get my name in the papers, but that's it. Times are really tough. People aren't taking vacations like they used to. The Jackal amulet is missing. Did you have anything to do with that? No, I didn't. I wouldn't even want to touch one of those creepy things. I mean, they did say that Abdullah I'll catch also you later. I'll be seeing ya. In the trade, so who knows? Hi, Nancy. Hello. How real is the black market? For trafficking antiquities? Very real. Do you think there's a chance that someone here is involved in the black market? There's no reason to think that. Yes, there is. Those men are... they're dangerous. If they are involved, I don't even want to think about it. Mm. Do you have any connections on the black market? Of course not. I didn't mean to offend. I just wish we could find out if they're interested in this site. If they are, all of the accidents would make more sense. Yeah. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Okay. Can we not? Oh, I guess that was telling him, kind of, I guess. What about Beatrice? Ahoy, hoy! No, nothing. What about I'll this? catch you later. Hutch, get out! Let's get some phone calls out of the way. Nancy, hi! Someone slashed the water tank. We're in big trouble. That's bad. How bad is that? Hang on. How long before you die in a desert with no water? Question mark. So? Two days. That's the good news. The bad news? The second day sounds really, really bad. Nancy, you need to get out of there. Uh-oh. So I've been supposedly cursed. Supposedly cursed? Or supposedly cursed? I don't understand the difference. Me neither. You have to come home. Between you and me, it would seem like a smart move. It's just... <laughs> what? Just what? Is it contagious? You can tell me if it is. I won't be weird about it. We can still hang out. I've always wanted to use those walkie-talkies George got me. I don't think I can actually leave. We're alone out here. The crew took the vehicles when they evacuated John. From the way they reacted, I don't think they're coming back. So... This may not be the best time to mention this, but yesterday, I couldn't sleep, and I saw this movie called Revenge of the Desert Queen. And? And everyone gets cursed, and then every single person in the movie... Bess, is this the best movie to be telling me about right now? Is fine. Every single person <laughs> in the movie is fine. Life lessons are learned, friendships forged, romance is romanced, history learned about. Everyone in the movie dies, right? All of them. Even the last girl I was really rooting for because she really looked like you. I could maybe have left that last part out. Oh, honey. We found the tomb. Way to go. But when I opened it, two strangers showed up. Really? Aren't you in the middle of nowhere? Yes. Okay. So maybe they were just out for a walk. In the desert. Nope. Doesn't work out. Nancy, what the craziness is happening out there? No clue. It's like I'm the only one here who doesn't know what's really going on. I don't like that feeling. You get used to it. Bess. Well, it certainly feels that way. Maybe it's time to call this one a wrap. 
I can't until John's back. I just need to keep my head on straight and try to keep the site in order. That's exactly like this one part of Revenge of the Desert Queen. So everybody... Is this going to be an anecdote where someone dies in a cursed tomb? No. Okay, continue. I lied, it was. But I'll just keep it to myself. Oh my god, this. I still think Jamila is hiding something. What's the story? She says she's here because of the Anunnaki. I think our connection is bad because it sounds like you said Anunnaki. I did. I still think it might be the phone, but continue. They're the aliens she's into, but I can't figure out why she'd be here now. Why don't you ask her? I would, but there are two questions you'll never get a straight answer to. One is, are you lying? And the other is, are you crazy? <laughs> I say that a lot, don't I? You do, but to be fair, you do exceed the average person's daily allowance of interaction with crazy and or dishonest people. Yeah, it's basically her life. Good lord. I found a cobra on my bunk. Nancy, I've been reading up on curses, and this is one of the hallmarks of a classic curse. Once the seal has been opened, the creatures of the desert get all riled up and turn against the interlopers. You guys are the interlopers, by the way. I know. Is it still there? No. I think someone put it there. Who do you think would do that? You. You. Honestly, Nancy, let it go. That was a harmless little garter snake, and we were kids. Anyway, it was George's idea. I think. It seems Georgie. So, was there anything in that movie of yours about bugs being part of a curse? Yes, and it was too gross for me to even talk about. Wait, do you have a bug infestation out there? And to think, I was jealous when I heard where you were going. Stay away from them. They're probably all super poisonous. I mean, they're all over our former water supply. Jamila seems to be convinced that aliens built the pyramids. That's cool. She thinks that this site has some sort of significance to aliens, and they'll be returning soon. What for? Who knows? The whole idea makes no sense to me. I know it's unlikely, but I think if aliens ever came to Earth, I think they'd like me. What? Why? Dogs love me, kids love me. I just think we'd be pretty simpatico is all. I can't tell if Jamila's being sincere or not. Just brush past my theory, that's fine. I'm sure they love you. That's all I wanted to hear. Go with your instinct, Nancy. You're so good at noticing what people really mean when they speak. Maybe she's saying a little more than she intends to. We found a cat tomb. It's amazing. It's surprisingly lavish for a cat's tomb, I guess. I don't have a reference point, though. Is it wrong that I find that adorable? It is, isn't it? Of course it is. I'm conflicted. There must be something very special about that cat if it's got its own tomb. Maybe it made a notable contribution to the cat arts and sciences? Cat sciences? Like what? Scratching post dynamics? Clearly. Or, or it belonged to someone important, like Nefertari. There you go. I don't know what to make of this tour guide who appeared out of nowhere. Is he cute? Define cute. Why is this never any fun with you? I have no girly friends. Fine, yes, he's moderately cute. And he has an accent. Now we're talking. Anyway, you've decided that this cute tour guide with an accent is a problem for some reason? His story isn't adding up. If he's a tour guide, why would he show up at a site that might take years to open up to the public? Maybe he's some sort of avant-garde tour guide. You know, way ahead of his time, like that jazz musician you made us see who only played awful notes. I'm still sorry about that. In my defense, it was for a case. And in his defense, there's nothing. Long distance burn, jazz guy. <laughs> Poor jazz guy. The tomb collapsed. Dylan had to be rushed to the hospital. My gosh, is he all right? I think so. It would have been me if he hadn't pushed me out of the way. This is just like that movie. This curse is coming after you, Nancy. You were the one who broke the seal of the tomb, weren't you? Of course you were. Yes. Nancy, what if it's coming after you? What if what is coming after me? What? Who? I don't know, okay? I know you're not going to listen, but I wish you would just come home.
Yeah. Have you heard of the black market for antiquities? Of course. But why would anyone want to buy a piece of history? Shouldn't that go to a museum? It should. Too bad not everyone agrees. I'd better get going. Bye. All right. Um. Let's see if we can do the procession of the gods puzzle because. Hi, Nancy. Oh shit. I'd better get going. Goodbye. Because we saw the thing, so I took a picture of it. Okay. So there's the queen on the top, and then there are two jackals. And then five gods, five gods, and two stork looking things. Four boxes, we have two, five, five, two. So the top two are gonna be jackals. And there are no jackals here, so jackals. And then the two bottoms are gonna be like stork looking things. So is that this? green thing? Yeah, I'm bad at this now. <laughs> um... Now that's right, we have a jackal and a stork thing. And we need to have jackal and another stork thing. We need to go like jackal. Oh, there are a bunch of jackals here. Stork thing? Jackal, jackal, stork, stork. <laughs> Sounds like a bad. Uh... I don't even know. Um, okay. So our top two and our bottom two are done. Those are probably the ones we should be doing after, but so whatever. Okay. And then we have the this bird looking thing. Below it's a crocodile, so that works nicely. Crocodile thing, bird thing, so they're gonna be like opposites. So let's. It needs to be a bird thing on top? No, other way around. Like that. So this is good. And on the middle, they're both cats. So it's cat. cat. Let's get another cat up here. Cat, cat. Now I just need to do this, which is crocodile. Bird. Oh shit, that was bad. These bottom two are both scarabs. Um, so this needs to be scarab with a crocodile on top. gotta do this. This has to be a bird thing with a scarab below it. Hell yeah, go! Oh, seriously? Alright, we will look at this tomb in our next episode. I don't want to start anything too crazy. Um, 
right as my timer is about to go off. So thank you so much for watching. And if you liked what you saw and you want to see more in the future, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a great deal. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.